what's going on with the bees? Why are they, you know, suffering right now and not surviving? And then I saw a local beekeeping class um, posted, and I was like, all right, I want to I go for it. Yeah. Um, so you're saying that you started four or five years ago, yeah. and you took a local bee class. Where did you take that? I took that through Seacoast Permaculture. Okay. Yeah, and that was right yeah. in um, Barrington. Oh, all yeah. right. I didn't know that they offered them there. That's yeah, cool. in the winter they do. It's a six-week class, so it was great. Okay. It was great to get, you know, some first-hand knowledge before getting the bees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then you had to buy your own hives. Yeah. And well, my own hives. I started with two, which is a great, and that's recommended because all bees act a little bit differently. Each hive has a different personality, so it's good to compare and have, you know, the two hives next to each other um, and see how they act. Okay. Yeah. And where do you get bees from? You can uh, order them through different local companies, which is what I do. Uh, a lot of times in the spring, since the south starts ahead of time with the beekeeping season, they'll bring them up from the south. Uh, now that I have more hives, I'm starting to become more sustainable and actually um, splitting off from hives I have here. So I have to bring less bees in from other places and keep them more local. In a hive? Yeah. So in those hives over there, um, each hive has about 50,000 bees at least in the summertime. Wow. So there's a lot. Yes. Uh, <laughs> these ones here, there's actually baby bees. If you look, see the orangish where it's capped, the orange circles in there? Yeah. Those yeah. are all baby bees that oh. haven't hatched yet. So a lot of the bees in here are actually taking care of the babies. Yeah. And these are all worker bees right here. Is there a queen in there? Not in this one. Uh, I left her in the hive. But uh, <laughs> every oh. single hive does have one queen, and right. she lays all the eggs. Right. Um, she lays about 2,000 eggs a day. So. Now, are these yeah. different types of bees? I mean, they don't look like something... <laughs> are they darker color for being in there, or...? Um, they are... They're all honeybees. There's different... All of them are half-sisters, technically, in here. So the queen is the mother, and right. then she mates with, like, 18 to 24 drones. So all of them have a little bit different genetics. Um, so that's why, like, some of their striping might be a little darker or lighter. But um, they're all kind of months at this point. <laughs> okay. You know, there's certain ones that are, like, Italian honeybees or carniolans and things like that. But to be honest, it's hard to decide that. It's like uh, dogs, you know, or cats. You know, you aren't quite sure if they're 100%. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and look, Envision Berwick showed up and they all have their Berwick shirts on. <laughs> 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 I don't you have a yeah. box I believe those are filled with honey. The thing in the back is. So they need to start building. It's a bipartisan. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you can, don't get the you know, like 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 space. Because when you use a smoker, it's like Winnie the Pooh taught people that bees fall asleep with the smoke. That's not really it. Um, oh, okay. So they communicate through pheromones. Mm. So if I go in and one of them's like, Alert, alert, someone's mm. in here, then the smoke basically kind of deafens that so that the other bees don't so it, like, smell it. So it blocks the pheromone, pheromone transfer or Yeah, it's because of the low water content. Um, and so all the honey needs to be below 18% water content, and that's why it doesn't spoil. So nectar, when they bring it in, is 80% water. Then they dehydrate it down to 18% and break down the sugars. So. I saw a story about hives over in uh, France get into a m ms I've heard Did about you see that? that? Yeah, and yeah. they were bringing home the sugar from the M&M yeah, factory. And it turned out there yeah. was blue honey instead of... Yeah. <laughs> and I've seen that with the maraschino cherry really? factory. I think oh. down in like New Jersey or New York City, the bees were going and they were dumping the syrup down the drain or something, and the bees were getting into it, and all of a sudden all the beekeepers had red honey, uh -huh. which they weren't happy about because you can't really harvest it. It's not real honey at that yeah. point. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. When they, get, mm -hmm. when they get desperate, they'll get into anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> As you can see, there's about 10 of these frames. Um, you can do 8 or per box. You can do 8 or 10 frame boxes. I normally do 10, so they're removable like that. Um, these ones were ones that I just pulled honey from, so you can see they're all so empty. So you just scrape the honey right off? You actually, so it's capped. You can actually see some in here. Um, see the white yeah, at the top I've corners? The cap, yeah. So we cut the cappings off and then put them in a big spinning drum and it oh, spins really? the honey right out. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And then this is what we're left with, just the honeycomb that they can use again. Oh. So, yeah. We have all the bees here. <laughs> 
So you must have a black cat. I do. My Lucy cat. <laughs> and you need to know why bees and pollinators are important to other farms. Because they pollinate um they pollinate plants to make more bees. Pollinators are essential to the production of many micronutrients, rich vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds that we need. Good job. Guys.